To create animations in Rive, we'll need to use the timeline. But to get to the timeline, we'll need to go to animate mode. To access the animate mode, we can use the toggle up here by either clicking on the animate button or using the tab shortcut. You'll notice that every time I hit tab, we'll switch back and forth between the two modes. The first thing you'll notice in animate mode are these little boxes. Let's ignore these for now and we'll cover this in the interactive part of the course. What we really want to talk about is the timeline. And to get to the timeline, we need to select an animation. So let's select timeline one. And as you can see, the timeline's now displayed. This is where we'll be creating our animations. If you've worked in other animation software or video editing software, it's gonna feel very familiar to you. At the top here, you'll see the time indicator. And by default, our animations start at one second long. Now to the left of all this, this is where your objects that you've animated will appear. And above that, we have a bunch of different options that we'll end up exploring in this video. So here's a simple animation that we're gonna use just as a reference. To play the animation, we can use the play button here. You can see that that will play through the animation. And if we press the play button again, it will start the timeline over and play the animation again. Now we can also use this play button as a pause button. So you'll see we can stop the animation about halfway through if we want to. In addition to the play button, you can also use the space bar on your keyboard to play and pause animations. Now, at any point, we can click and drag on our time positions to uh, actually drag the playhead around and move it wherever we want. So for example, we could put it at the beginning and then let's say I wanna move it back here. I can just click, I can click there, there, really anywhere we want. We can also advance the playhead by a single frame forward and backwards using the comma and period shortcuts. If we want to go forward, we can use the period, and if we want to go back, we just use the comma. If we go to this menu here, you can actually see all of the different um, shortcuts that you can use to control the playhead. So for example, we can move uh, by 10 frames uh, or go directly to the beginning and end of the timeline using these shortcuts. Now there's a few types of animations that we can create and you can see all of the different types of animations that we have here in the playback menu. By default, you're gonna be on a one-shot animation. And this means that when you play the animation, it'll play one time through from beginning to end and stop. We also have the option to use a loop playback. And when we hit play, the animation is going to play from front to back uh, endlessly. The last type of animation is a ping pong animation. Now ping pong animations are similar to loops in that they play forever, but you'll notice that in this case, when a ping pong gets to the end, it starts playing from the end back to the beginning until we stop it. Now let's talk a little bit about the timeline options. You'll notice up here that we have the current position of the playhead. And if we click on this, it'll expand a menu that shows us the current position as well as the duration of our timeline. And we can change this. Let's say we want a timeline of four seconds. We can write that here, press enter, and now our timeline has changed. You'll also notice that this little bar up here has actually changed as well. And we can use this bar to scrub through the timeline. Um, and also we can use this to change the uh, zoom level of our timeline. So we can click on this area here and drag it out and that shows us the whole timeline, drag it back in, shows us closer. Uh, so this is gonna be really useful when we have a lot of keys and we wanna just focus on one little part. We can also scrub through the timeline or move it around by holding the space bar and then clicking and dragging. And that'll allow us to drag through the timeline without moving the playhead and we can uh, find the keys that we're actually looking for. In addition to the current position of the playhead and duration, we can also control the playback speed here. Now, by default, it's at 1x, so that's playing our animation at a one times or normal speed, but what we could do is go in and maybe change it to um, 2x, and that'll play it twice as fast. 
If for whatever reason we don't want our animation to play, we can use 0x and that will keep our animation still. And we can also set it to a negative value and that will actually let the playback go backwards.